Hey everyone, it's Kat and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be testing and reviewing some brand new products from Milani, particularly the new Screen Queen foundation and their new Cheek Kiss blush. So in case you're interested, then keep on watching. Okay. I'm 52 years old, I have normal to dry skin, hyperpigmentation, fine lines, and today we're gonna to be testing out Milani's new Screen Queen Natural Finish Foundation and their new cheek product, which is the Cheek Kiss Liquid Blush. Now you know I love a good liquid blush because of my mature skin. I like how it doesn't add any extra texture to my skin. So we are gonna do a review on this. We're gonna test it out and I will give you my final thoughts at the end of the day. So let's just hop right into it. I've already primed and prepped my skin with Touch and Soul's No Problem Primer. And I also went under my eyes with the Kanuka CBD Calming Eye Balm. Holy macaronis. I did a review on this in my previous video and it has smoothed out my under eye area and it feels like silk. So in case you're interested in that, I'll put the link up there. Let's dive into this new foundation from Milani. Now it's called the Screen Queen Natural Finish Foundation and it claims to have a light to medium coverage. So what are the specs? It comes in 45 shades and I got the shade Natural Beige. Now I love Milani's products. I love their Conceal and Perfect Concealer. I love, of course, their highlighters and I was super excited to test out this foundation for you today. Now it retails for $13.99 and you get one fluid ounce. And what's super cool is that their packaging is completely different and I kind of like it it kind of reminds me of flower beauties foundation I'm gonna shake it up now it is a glass bottle with a plastic pump finally okay here's the consistency now it's rather thick and like I said, it's supposed to deliver a light to medium buildable coverage. According to the website, it says, level up your skin's digital defense with Milani Screen Queen Foundation. Created to give you woke up like this, effortlessly perfected skin, this buildable light to medium coverage foundation blends seamlessly and blurs imperfections for an even luminous natural skin finish. Well, we'll be the judge of that. So let's go ahead. Oh my God, does not smell good. You've been warned. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, put some on. I hope this doesn't oxidize. We're just gonna go ahead and tap it in with my Dampen Beauty Sponge. Now this has been getting really good reviews on the Ulta website. Okay, they were not kidding about light coverage but we are gonna build it up today. Oh my God, super duper light. You see that? Please blur my imperfections. I'm gonna go ahead and tap on some more. And on this side, I'm gonna use my Sigma F80 Kabuki brush and see how it goes. Kinda streaky on this side, I'm not gonna lie. I may just have to go over it with my beauty sponge. Definitely light. Okay, that's just one coat. This is the kabuki brush side, this is the sponge side. I kinda like this side better. I'm just gonna let it dry down for just a bit. I'm gonna apply some more and try to build it back up because I still see a lot of redness. I see some hyperpigmentation. So yeah, let's just try to build it up. Okay. Okay, it's still, it's building up just a little bit. Go ahead and try this side of my face. Stipple it in. So how you doing? I'm telling you the weather here in Chattanooga has been miserable. It's been cold and rainy. If it's gonna be that cold, might as well snow. Oh my God, this looks good. This looks good with the brush. Oh my. Hmm, maybe I should try it, stipple it in on this side. 
Made with digital blue light filter technology, this first of its kind formula helps fight the signs of digital damage, dullness, discoloration, and hyperpigmentation, yay, to keep your skin on point no matter how much screen time you clock. So apparently what they're saying is you do a lot of this, apparently the light from your screen is supposed to be damaging to your face. I don't know about that. Sounds like another ploy to just buy this foundation, but it worked with me. This is beautiful. I think this really looks nice. Okay. Nice. Foundation is on. What do you think guys? This did build up really well. It is a good medium coverage. Would I say full coverage? Probably not. I think I like the brush side better. What do you think? Now when in Rome, I'm gonna go in with concealer with the Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer. This has been, oh my God, this is one of my all time favorite concealers and I always forget how awesome it is. And then just take my ring finger and tap it in. Ever since I've been using the Kanuka CBD Calming Eye Balm, oh my God, such a difference. You guys, if it's one skincare product you get this winter, you need to get that product because it's fantastic. I mean, look how smooth my under eye area is. Gorgeous. Okay. Nice. Now I did pick up their Cheek Kiss Liquid Blush. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and apply it now so we can see how it works. Now I got the shade Pink Flirt. Now you know how I love cream blushes because with mature skin, I don't wanna add any extra texture to my complexion. That's why I love a good cream blush. It states, because you shouldn't need a crush to make you blush, give your cheeks the perfect kiss of color with the Cheek Kiss Blush by Milani with an ultra blendable and buildable lightweight creamy liquid formula. Infused with skin loving ingredients like pomegranate, rose extract, and watermelon. I hope it smells like watermelon. This easy to apply multi-use formula leaves just the right amount of color on cheeks and lips. So apparently you can do both on your cheeks and your lips. And it comes in six shades. I got the shade, of course, Pink Flirt. I wonder if you have to shake it up. And this retails for $9.99. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. Let's put some here on the back of my hand. Oh my God, this looks like Pepto-Bismol. Can you see that? Focus. Pepto-Bismol, I don't know. It doesn't smell, so I guess that's good. And I'm not gonna use that much because this might go a long way, but we're gonna check it out. Okay, I'm just gonna take some on my finger. I'm just gonna apply it to the apples of my cheeks. Holy shit, what did I just do? Oh my God. Lord have mercy, I'm gonna oh, go over here. Uh-oh. Let's see, right through here. Oh my goodness. It's very lightweight. It, it was scary at first. It kind of looked like Pepto-Bismol, but look how it's blending out. Oh my lanta, this is gorgeous. Look at that. Oh my gosh. And it was so easy to blend in. Did you see how quick and easy that was to blend in? Fabulous, oh my gosh. I still have a bunch right here, so let's try it on the lips, shall we? Okay, not a look for me. I look like I should be in 1967, the year I was born. So far the foundation feels super lightweight and comfortable. It doesn't feel heavy at all. I think it's providing very nice coverage. The blush is gorgeous. Everything's playing well together. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead and put on the rest of my makeup, take off this lipstick, and I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, final look. Now for eyes, I went in with Makeup Geek's Champagne and Rose eyeshadow palette. I know Makeup Geek has gone through a huge new rebranding, but I still love this eyeshadow palette. The quality of her shadows are so stunning. And I thought these were beautiful colors to complement my look. Now for highlighter, I did go in with Milani's Strobe Light. That is the shade 01. And for lips, I went in with Milani's Amore Shine Lip Gloss. I think this foundation is beautiful and I am loving the Cheek Kiss liquid blush. Now to finish it off, I'm gonna go ahead and spritz it with the Milani Make It Dewy Finishing Spray. I love this spray because it smells amazing, but it has a shitty sprayer, as you can see. Okay, woo! Also for mascara, I went in with Lash Essence and I'm having a really good wing day. 
I don't know about you. Do you ever have those days where you're just doing your makeup and your eyeliner just works? But yes, I just did a tiny, tiny little wing. So we are gonna go ahead and test this all day long. Now it is 2.29 p.m. I know I'm getting a really late start to the day, but I've got things to do. I have to go back to work. I have a manicure tonight. I'll probably take you with me and we're gonna test it throughout the evening. So it is blurring my imperfections. Do you wanna see without the ring light? Okay. okay, this is without my ring light. Look how pretty that is. I think this is a really pretty foundation. Let's just hope it lasts. So let's just go about our day. And I'm back. It is exactly 8.05 p.m. It's been almost six hours since I first applied the Milani Screen Queen Natural Finish Foundation as well as their new Cheek Kiss Liquid Blush. And I'm happy to report my day was literally put on the makeup and I was out the door ready to go. I finished up my work day. I went and took Ava to her first ever ballet class, ate some dinner, got my nails done, came home, uh, washed dishes, cleaned up the kitchen, and now we are here. Did not even look in the mirror once, did not even touch up once, and this is what we have. Now I do see just a little bit of settling into this laugh line right here, but let's face it, I'm 52 years old. There's gonna be some settling somewhere but it did really beautifully. And remember, I did set it with the Milani Make It Dewy setting spray that just melted into my complexion and I think it's just stunning. Final thoughts. It retails for $13.99, you get one fluid ounce. It's super accessible. I picked it up at Ulta, you can get it at any drugstore. 45 shades, the shade range is incredible. And as far as the Cheek Kiss Liquid Blush, this comes in six shades as well. And this color was stunning. It's just a natural flush of my cheeks. Remember, you can always build it up to build up that intensity, but I think it's perfect the way it is. As a lip color, I say no go, that, but that's just the color that I picked. I just didn't care for it on my lips. Fantastic product, fantastic. I highly, highly recommend this foundation. It was comfortable, it was lightweight. I didn't fuss with it, no touch-ups all day long. It was a cold, wet, rainy day again in Chattanooga. So yeah, leave a comment down below if you're thinking about picking up the Screen Queen Natural Finish Foundation. I never really have great luck with Milani's foundations. I've tried their stick foundation, I've tried their other foundations, but this, for me, is a game changer. I think it's a beautiful product super affordable, $13.99. So those are my final thoughts. So I hope you enjoyed this review of Milani Screen Queen Natural Finish Foundation as well as their Cheek Kiss Liquid Blush. So don't forget to click like and subscribe and remember I upload every Sunday and Wednesday. And see that little head right here? Click on it, you'll be subscribed. I would love it if you would join my family. And for more reviews on makeup and skincare, check out these videos up here. So Mahalkita, I love you and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.